What is going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Guys, I got to talk about it. The breaking news. It's the news that everyone in Indianapolis has been waiting for. Colts fans, the Indianapolis Colts have not traded running back Jonathan Taylor after giving him a deadline of today. The debt trade deadline or the deadline for roster cuts and rosters to be set. The Indianapolis Colts have selected to not get rid of Jonathan Taylor for a trade, and he will remain in Indianapolis for the time being. Now, to talk about this for a few moments here. So it responded that there was two teams very interested in making a trade with the Indianapolis Colts for Jonathan Taylor. And the big one that was the one that everyone knew from the get-go was the Miami Dolphins. That was the team that definitely had the most upkeep. They apparently threw the most out to get Jonathan Taylor. And through a lot of hard determination, it still wasn't enough. They weren't able to get a deal done with Indianapolis. Now, a couple things to go back on this, guys, is that, again, this all came down to it that the Colts obviously showed they were not in a rush to get rid of Jonathan Taylor, and they were not going to back off on their asking price. They're asking for a first-rounder. They have no reason to give up. Jonathan Taylor in this circumstance with everything that is going on within this organization. You have a young quarterback coming in and you hope that at some point you can work out a deal with Jonathan Taylor and get him to be able to play for this organization once again, right? So that was the big thing is There's just no need for the Indianapolis Colts to make a move for Jonathan Taylor unless someone gave them what they asked for. And the Colts were asking for a high steep price of a first rounder. No one was willing to give them that. And also, by the way, for anyone that doesn't know yet, both teams that called Indianapolis and were engaged in trade talks, neither one of them ever presented a first round draft pick or the Indianapolis Colts. So all of them just decided to not go with it. So there's that. But of course, when we look at this from the outside, like I said, we don't have any reason to trade Jonathan Taylor right now. There's just no reason because you hope that at some point, Jonathan Taylor can get healthy. You hope that you can mend the relationship You can work out a deal in the future or even in this season if if both sides can come to an agreement and hopefully have your best weapon back on the field at some point this year is what they're hoping. Now, a couple other things to go into. Uh, This is where it gets interesting because the Colts did not trade Jonathan Taylor but also did not activate him off the PUP list today, which means that Jonathan Taylor will now not be able to play for the first four games of the season for the Indianapolis Colts. Now, most people presumed that this would probably not happen anyway, but we all are now, but now we get the confirmation that that's what it is. Now, Of course, when we see this now and we see the Indianapolis Colts having made the decision to not activate Jonathan Taylor, it really does, in my mind, speak to the fact that Jonathan Taylor truly is hurt beyond what some of us might actually believe because you you kept him on the PUP. You know now you cannot play him for the first quarter of the season, if somehow, some way you convinced him to come back and he was healthy. So you can't get him to now play for the first quarter of the season. So now 
it makes it harder for the Colts in that situation. But it also kind of shines light on the fact that that might have been one of the biggest reasons why a lot of teams weren't interested in going and getting Jonathan Taylor right now because he is hurt. He is hurt, and it hurt his value and hurt his ability to move forward with another team because of the fact that he's physically not ready right now. And he probably most likely won't be until, who knows, maybe midway through the season when the PUP is off. I have no idea. But again, guys, this does not mean that the Indianapolis Colts will not be willing to trade Jonathan Taylor at some point. Remember, the trade deadline is late October. So there's always going to be an opportunity that the Colts could do that if indeed a team gave them the asking prices they're asking for. But like I said, from the very beginning, the Colts do not have any reason to move on from Jonathan Taylor if they do not believe the compensation is fulfilling. You can tr- you can franchise him. You can control. If he doesn't play this year as well and he gets placed on the PUP for, the major- for all of the year, his salary and contract will null and void and go to next year. So he will not have, the Colts will have another year on Jonathan Taylor where he can't go anywhere and he can't get paid and he can't do all this. So again, the ball is in the Colts court. They know what to do here. They are, they are working this like they have to. And Jonathan Taylor is now going to remain an Indianapolis Colt for now. So, that's really it, guys. Uh, I explained it to the best of my ability. Very, uh, very nice that Jonathan Taylor is still here. But at the end of the day, um, the relationship is still not good there. Uh, Jonathan Taylor clearly still not uh, happy with not getting a contract extension. Will the Indianapolis Colts now uh, talk with Jonathan Taylor about trying to get an extension? I'm not sure. But... We will just have to wait and see and see what the Colts do. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, go Colts.